Once in a lush meadow, there lived a skilled weaver bird named Avya. Avya took immense pride in her ability to craft intricate nests, intricate enough to be the envy of the entire avian community. However, she lived with a sense of disdain for the diligent ants that toiled on the ground below. One day, as Avya was perched high in her nest, a terrible storm approached. Fearful for her home, she looked down at the ants and mockingly said, Your tiny efforts won't save you when the storm comes. My nest, a masterpiece, will endure any challenge. The ants, led by their wise elder Antara, continued their relentless work, building tunnels and fortifying their colony. They paid little attention to Avia's arrogant remarks, knowing the value of unity and hard work. As the storm hit, Avia's nest, despite its beauty, swayed perilously. The wind and rain tore through its delicate structure, leaving Avia vulnerable and exposed. In contrast, the ant's underground haven remained untouched, a testament to their collaborative efforts. Realizing her mistake, Avia sought refuge in the ant colony. To her surprise, Antara welcomed her with open arms, stating, In times of need, it is not the grandeur of one's creation, but the strength of unity that prevails. Grateful and humbled, Avia spent days observing the ants and learning their ways. She discovered the beauty in their cooperative society, where each ant had a role, and their collective effort ensured the survival of the entire colony. Over time, Avia not only rebuilt her nest, but also transformed it into a communal structure, inviting birds of different species to share its shelter. The once proud weaver had learned that true strength lay not in isolation, but in the bonds formed through collaboration. The fable of the weaver and the ants teaches us that pride and arrogance can blind us to the valuable lessons that unity and collaboration offer. In a world where storms are inevitable, it is the strength of togetherness that weathers the challenges, not the height of individual achievements.